I want to say toys, Mommy. <laughs> guys okay so today i'm just getting ready because i'm supposed to go to the dermatologist and i did tell you guys in my last video the struggles that i'm having with my skin right now just a little backstory i've never had skin issues or anything like that i've also always taken care of my skin since i was really young like still in high school i remember like taking care of my skin moisturizing every day all of that this started happening like around july maybe july august and we're now in march and so since then i remember i remember starting to see myself get like a little pigmentation down here and so the thing with that is that i wasn't understanding why just to be safe because pigmentation scares me in my on my face you know obviously like you want to know what's causing it um i went to the dermatologist back then she gave me this cream which is a topical cream and this one is a Lidl. so this is what it looks like she told me apply it twice a day in the area which happened to be down here so i was and she was like come back and see me in six months i applied it consistently for a good two months i didn't see anything happening i just stopped but right now you can't see the pigmentation even though it's still there because i'm lighter i haven't really gotten color but when i have color you can definitely still see the two or three spots down here so then I also used to get like these little rashes right here, like super small, not even noticeable. And it was the products that I was using. That's why I started transitioning to more clean or cleaner products like First Aid Beauty, where it's good for like eczema and dry skin, and sensitive skin. It doesn't really have fragrances or anything like that. And Tata Harper, which is a really green brand also. Then out of nowhere, like I started getting like this crazy rash and now it's like spreading so i'm like afraid to do anything i was rubbing aloe on it just to like calm it down or whatever because it was like flaring up like red and itchy and irritated the reason i'm sharing this with you guys is because i have a beauty channel right and so with beauty not everything is like things go wrong you know my face is not perfect all the time nobody's faces people have issues so yeah guys i think i'm gonna change my shirt i don't really like it okay guys so i changed my shirt i did everything i had to do and now i'm leaving to my appointment which i've been anxiously waiting for all day Okay, so I found a little spot in my car for you guys to take a ride with me so that I don't crash or anything like that. So yeah, guys, I'll show you a little bit of the scenery so you guys can see how pretty it is out here, especially those of you that are suffering in the snow. I know there's many of you, including a lot of my family because they live in New England. So I know that it's cold up there right now. Um, and I feel bad for you. You should have moved to Florida too. <laughs> I'm not gonna record in there because I'm too shy. All right, let's go. I'm gonna die on the highway because my seatbelt is like locked. It won't let me like pull it out. So they had somebody else see me. He told me the same thing that the other doctor told me when I was there back in the summer. It was actually September. And I had something called, what's it called? Perioral dermatitis. So he told me there's nothing that they can really do. I'm coming in contact with something that's irritating my skin and I don't know what it is. I guess whatever new product I've introduced to my skin is like inflaming it even more. He said he was gonna give me a prescription, um, which is a low dose of this um, medicine that's going to bring the inflammation down. He said that I really, it's really up to me that I have to try and find out what it is that I'm allergic to or what it is that's causing the irritation. I still have to wear that Alidel cream that they gave me. He said that that's the best bet for for me to use for now. He said that um, I need to go to like Walgreens or something and get this line right here. So this is Vanna cream, Vanna cream sensitive skincare. So it's like the most natural, clean line of like actual skin products. He needs me to only use that for a couple of weeks to see what happens. 
Okay guys, so this is the brand that the doctor told me about, Vanny Cream. Um, he told me to get the light lotion, so that's what I'm gonna get this guy right here. And it's not too expensive. Okay, and then here is the other stuff, so I need to get this. This is the other, this is the facial cleanser he told me to get. I just showered, it's the end of the night, so I'm getting ready for bed. What I've done is I've washed my face with the with the face cleanser. I noticed when I got out of the shower that it wasn't as red this time, so that's good. Now, I'm gonna go ahead with the Alizel and apply it in all the areas where I see the irritation. Take that, rub it everywhere. Rub it like it's gonna be gone in the morning. I know it's not, but I'm not gonna use anything else. Not even my eye cream. I'm gonna use this for a couple of days and take the oral medicine that he gave me for the inflammation to go down, which I have to pick up at the pharmacy tomorrow because it, I wasn't able to get it today. And then I'm supposed to use the Vanny Cream Light Lotion and he wants me to use this over my face if I need a moisturizer because I told him I do have dry skin. Carefully chosen ingredients effectively moisturize the skin without exposing the user to co common chemical irritants. Found in most ordinary lotions. It's free of dyes, fragrance, masking fragrance. Since I'm going to bed, I'm only going to do the Ellie Dell. I'm not going to use this. I want to put as little on my face as necessary. So I'm not going to use the lotion until tomorrow morning. I have my first aid face wash that just finished. So I'm not going to buy that again until I have this situation under control. Because that just finished, I've been using this that I got in the BoxyCharm box, which is the Pharmacy Clean B Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. And even this one is like a clean brand from Sephora. And this is all I've been using and still, I don't know. I don't know if that's causing it. So I'm not going to use it anymore. I got the Harper eye cream. I'm not going to use that because I'm paranoid. So sad that I'm not going to be able to use my Tatcha Indigo cream. This is really good for like dry skin and eczema. Like the main ingredient. I talked about this in my skincare video. It has the colloidal oatmeal in it. But you know, I wouldn't be shocked if this is what's causing me to break out like this. Because this is the newest, not new, but the newest product that I've introduced into my skincare. Um, because I usually only use the Ultra Repair Cream, the First Aid Beauty. And this is really good because this is pretty clean. I mean, it's literally for dry, parched skin, release minor irritations due to eczema, other conditions, no parabens, harsh chemicals, or colorants, safe for sensitive skin. And I don't think I've had problems with this. Actually, my skin has improved with First Aid Beauty. But then I was like, you know what, let me try something new. And that's when I went out and got Tatcha because it was also for the same thing that this does. I'm wondering if it's because of this. I'll update you guys tomorrow when I wake up and show you if there has been any improvement. Um, hopefully, if not, I'm gonna jump off a bridge. Good morning, everybody. Okay, so I woke up, took a shower. It's really early right now. It's around six in the morning. I went to sleep so late watching that Michael Jackson documentary thing on HBO. And I couldn't even finish watching it because it was so disturbing. Just getting ready for work now. My allergies are starting to act up, so I always use Flonase. I'm a pro, see that? I did wash my face and I put the cream on already and I got dressed and all that. So I'm going to go in with the lotion and apply it all over my face. Now, when I woke up, it was not as irritated as yesterday. I have to say that. I did notice I did get a new bump. I don't, here's the thing, guys. I don't usually get acne or pimples or anything unless it's during that time of the month, right? Which is not now. And so because of that, I think that that might be from this. I usually wear a hat for work. And especially today more than ever because it's going to help cover a lot of what I got going on. The thing with my face today is that I'm not going to be wearing foundation because... I'm scared to right now so I am only going to wear a little bit of concealer and a little bit of face makeup but I'm gonna try and leave this alone which I probably should put down there because it's it's noticeably red but you know what I'm not like if somebody doesn't like it you don't have to look at me let me wrap it up and get out of here this is the hat that I'm going to be wearing okay guys so we're on the way to work <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna use my MAC lipstick that I always wear and also my Tarte lip gloss. Why are people so impatient? How about because you beeped at me, I'm gonna go like two miles an hour. How about that? 
Are you guys morning people? I'll give you guys a little clip of what I do over there once I talk to the person I deal with and just make sure it's okay. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished work. It was really nice. So um, basically what we did there was um, we were interviewing CEOs of different companies, like how they started, where they started. And, you know, basically to give encouragement of how they started their business and what advice they would give to like entrepreneurs, which me myself would be an entrepreneur, like somebody that started trying to go into their own business and you know build an income from that and trying to to really just go out on their own and not trying to work for anybody the number one advice that i remember that they all give they all say the same thing and it's don't give up like when you are trying to do your own thing and go into business for yourself or not even to be the goal for me is not to be rich the goal for me is just to do my own thing and not have to answer to anybody in regards to scheduling and people give me a hard time with certain things um, because when you work for another person that's what happens especially mac for example will not really honor or give they give you a hard time for it but my point is like i just want to be the manager of my own schedule and my time with my family and for the things that are important to me like spiritual things things like that i want my time for that and because i have this talent which is makeup and it's what i love like why wouldn't i try and go and branch out on my own and do it so the advice that they give is really good because you don't want to give up you want to stay positive because there's days that you don't you really don't stay positive like you think like oh i'm not gonna make it some days i don't really get a lot of feedback or a lot of like calls for like jobs and stuff like that and i get down or whatever but it's just saying like stay positive like you'll be fine this um production that we do it's for a show called the american dream and they're filming season two now and it's on amazon that's where they they show it on amazon prime so if you have like an amazon membership and you want to like search the american dream season one is on amazon and they're filming now for season two so it should be out soon now i I'm on the way back home. As you guys can see, I didn't wear the foundation, but I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Let me actually wait till I stop so I don't kill myself. But it is uh, pretty red still. The hat has done a good job of concealing. The fact that I didn't really do my brows or anything like that, or that I'm not wearing foundation. And I need to go to the pharmacy and get the pills that the doctor prescribed so that the inflammation on my face can go down a little bit. Oh my God, that looks much worse than I thought but it hasn't really gone down the inflammation too much i mean it's not as bad as it was i guess on um tuesday was it? yeah it was tuesday but you can still tell that it's there and so that sucks i don't know it makes me insecure because like if people like talk to me and stuff i feel like this is what they're looking at and i don't even want like want them to look at me <laughs> shouldn't be here right but here i am i'm just gonna look i'm not gonna get anything in a couple of days i will update you guys and if you guys want to see more stuff in my vlogs not just skincare let me know i'm not a vlogger but i will do more if that's what you guys want to see and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you guys soon